This is a test voiceover for a subtitle. If you want to create your own subtitles, follow these simple steps. Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily create subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. So here I'm going to have a very basic voiceover and we're going to subtitle it. So if you don't already have a subtitle track, you can create one by right clicking in the tracks area on the time. And now we click inside and we actually write the subtitle itself. So it said, well, basically this exact line I have in Notepad. So I'll be lazy and I'll just copy and paste it in. So this is a test voiceover for a subtitle. And you see that it starts three seconds into the video, three seconds, 16 frames to be precise. And it ends six seconds into the video. So if we want to have customized settings for this particular part of the caption, we can uncheck use track style, and then we'll be able to manually set in font family, font face, size, and some other details. But if we want to just use the same settings across the entire track, which is probably what most people are gonna do, then you can just go over to track style and set it here once and be done with it. So let's say we wanted to change the font. We can go ahead and do that. So let's pick out a font we like here. So let's try this Melgon Gothic font. And uh, maybe we want it bold or italicized or italicized and bold. But I'll just set it for normal right now. And you can also increase the size if you feel it's needed. I'll leave it right around 60. Line spacing should only be relevant if you're gonna do more than one line of subtitles for every section. And then kerning will be how tightly you want the characters to fit together. Uh, compared to the original font defaults, but you usually want to leave that as zero. You also have other standard settings for text, such as adding drop shadow and stroking the outside of the text character. So for instance, you could have it have a red outline like this, but I'm just going to turn that off because I think it's unnecessary. So uh, we have one part of our subtitle done here now. So next we need to do the following line. So I'm going to go over here to where I start speaking again and listen to what it says. If you want to create your own subtitles, and we'll stop there. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add new. So you see below track style, it says add new, which will create a new line. And I want that to end where I stop speaking. So that's right around here. And then we'll put the subtitle. If you want to create your own subtitles. And we'll go to the last section here and hit add new once again and get that to sync up with the actual text. And then let's play it back so we can listen to it and add in the final subtitle section. Follow these simple steps. Okay, so follow these simple steps. Follow these simple steps. And now if we play it back, it will look like this. This is a test voiceover for a subtitle. If you want to create your own subtitles, follow these simple steps. So now when you actually go to export your video, you're going to have the option to export subtitles. And we want to check this because obviously we created subtitles for the video. And these subtitles can be exported as a separate file. A standard format would be SRT. And we can also burn it straight into the video. So it's up to you whether you want it to be a separate includable file or if you want it to be written into the video itself. So in this case, because the subtitle is absolutely crucial for the video, I'm going to change it to burn into video. But if you want to have it be an uploadable file into something like YouTube and it optional, whether you want it to be turned on or turned off, then you would say separate file and then you would upload that as a separate file after you've uploaded your video. Um, so here I'm going to burn it into video, add to render queue and just go ahead and start rendering. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video has helped you guys out to create your own manual subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.